AI has been creating quite the conversation for quite some time. And honestly, I try really hard to avoid anything controversial on this channel. However, I think that it is time to take a look at how to use AI and what it can do for you. Now, if you totally hate it after this video, don't use it. And I am not picking a side either way. However, there is some good information here, so stick around and see what it's all about. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success, and I do hope that you're going to join our little community. We would absolutely love to have you. In this video, we are going to head over to Creative Fabrica because they have what's called CF Spark. It is an amazing AI tool that can help you generate all kinds of images, even PNGs with transparent backgrounds. I cannot cover all of it today because this video would be tremendously long. However, I do hit my favorite points and show you more than enough to get started. Then we're going to take my favorite design and merge it into Silhouette Studio to create some adorable Christmas tags slash ornaments. I have some helpful tips and tricks to creating the actual ornaments as well, so you're going to want to stick around till the end. Now, if everybody is ready to learn something new today, let's do this. Once you've made your way to Creative Fabrica, you're going to click on the Spark tab. That's going to bring up this page and you have quite a few options here. I highly recommend that you set aside a couple of hours really to explore if you're interested in using AI to create your own original art for your projects. The prompt builder is a good place to start because it kind of holds your hand and pulls you along. You start out with a basic idea here. I'm going with Christmas tree with colorful lights. You can scroll down and see a ton of options here. Let's look at a few. Then we'll see what the AI comes up with. Under art media, I'm going to click on pastels and chalk. Let's choose chalk and that will be added to our prompt. Under camera, I'm going to scenes and choosing golden hour. Under dimensionality, I'm going to click on 2 to 5D and select 4D. Display, I'll click on resolution and then megapixel. Let's head up to the top of the page and click on the second button. It has a square with an arrow and it says prompt. That'll copy our prompt onto this page here. You can choose the size of your image, then click ignite. Your images will appear in the four boxes below. This does take a minute. If you aren't happy with those options, you can click through the different art styles here, pick one and click ignite. It will generate new images for you. The AI is not giving me what I'm looking for here. So I'm going to change the wording in my prompt. Let's see how this does. Okay, we're getting closer. Let's try Christmas tree in a living room. This is kind of what I had in mind, but not quite. Now we can click on this button and build on this image. 
Just click on generate and it will give you more options. I'm going to choose this one and generate again. So you can see how this works and how you can evolve through different prompts and different features in CF Spark. Now, CF Spark Crystalline will create PNGs with transparent backgrounds, which are great for stickers. And if you have the auto trace feature on in Silhouette Studio, it's almost all automated. So I typed in Christmas presents under the tree. I did get presents, no tree. Let's reword the prompt. I like this one. And again, we can get similar options by clicking this button. Next, I'm going to look at Create Art. Let's type in Happy Snowman, Top Hat, Red Scarf, Winter Background. I'm not fond of the writing in the first two, but the others are cute. Now, it had given me this one while I was playing around with it earlier, and it really is my favorite. So. Let's save this guy and bring him into Silhouette Studio. I have some small wood slice ornaments that I bought a couple of years ago, and I think that it's time that I put them to use. Most of them are just over two inches in diameter, so I'll set the size of my design circle to two inches exactly. And you can create a perfect circle by holding down the Shift key while you drag out the ellipse shape from the Drawing Tools tab. Then you can resize it by entering the height or width at the top. Just make sure that the aspect ratio is locked. I'll resize my image as well. Select both the image and the circle and center. I can head over to the right hand side, find my Modify panel, and then choose Crop. And now he is just perfect. Since this is going to be a print and cut project, I'll need registration marks. Let's turn them on so that we can be sure to keep the hashed areas clear. I will be making three of these, one for my son, my husband, and myself, so we can duplicate twice and get them arranged on the page. Let's select all three of those and duplicate, pull them to the side, and I'm going to fill mine in with a blue from the image. So let's grab the eyedropper. This looks good. Now I'm going to add names and the year to the sticker for the back of the ornament. I'm using Starbright for the font. I did try to keep the font size consistent, but I had to do a little bit of scrunching here and there. and changing the last letter of each name to a fancier glyph. And I'm just setting 2023 wherever it looks best, to be honest. Now let's head over to the send panel 
to check the cut lines. You can see that this is going to cut out the lettering, but not the circles, and that is the exact opposite of what we want. So let's go back to the design page, select everything, right click and group. We can go back to the send tab, click on our design, then select cut edge. Perfect. Now for the material, I'm going to select sticker paper white and adjust the settings a bit because I will be using laminate. We'll need to print and prepare our mat before we click on send. Here we have wood rounds. These are from Amazon and I'll put a link in the description to the materials that I'm using today. Ribbon. our sticker sheet, holographic laminate, sandpaper, a scraper, tweezers for weeding, and a Teflon sheet. I'm going to measure the print area on my stickers and trim my laminate sheet so that the registration marks are left uncovered. I place the Teflon sheet over the sticker paper so that I have more control over the placement of the laminate. I can secure the top of the laminate, remove the Teflon sheet, then smooth it all out with my scraper. This is the easiest way to apply laminate, in my opinion. It's all ready to go. Load the Cameo 5 and close the lid. I gave the blanks a quick sanding while my design was cutting. The cut looks good, so we can unload the mat. When I got the front stickers applied, I took my pointed tweezers and I punched out the holes. We're going to need to do this for the back as well, but it's a lot easier to find the hole if you punch the front before you cover the back. Now, I am using very wide ribbon with a very small hole. Scotch tape is the way. Wrap the end of the ribbon with the tape a few times, and this is going to make sure that the ribbon is stiff enough to get pushed through and prevent fraying. Then just trim, tie, and hang. These also make great gift tags.
if you want to get into deeper conversation, show off pictures of your work, or just have general questions, you can always go to the Facebook group that's Silhouette Success as well. And I'll link that in the description below. Don't forget to check out this video here. It is amazing as well. Now go create something amazing and I will see you in the next video.